if you are looking to jump higher this is one of the most important videos you will ever watch the reason being is because this video is all about how to get rid of knee pain and that is one of the most common obstacles athletes have when trying to jump higher and just when trying to get better at your sport in general so make sure you listen up take notes because this is going to be really good as you can see here i am starting my workout with knee extension isometrics isometrics are an exercise where your muscle fascicles are not lengthening they're not shortening you are just holding the same position for a certain amount of time this is really good for your tendons there's different types of isometrics that you can do uh, as you can see here i'm doing single leg on a knee extension machine you can do them manually by kicking out against uh, your arm while while you're holding your shin you can do them kneeling down in a reverse nordic position there's a bunch of different ones that help find the one that helps you the most you know an isometric is good if after holding it for 45 seconds there is a noticeable decrease in pain directly after the set if your pain worsens after the set uh, that means you either went too heavy or you're in the wrong position the reason isometrics are so effective is because you can control the stress on the tendon there's a few different things that affect stress on a tendon they are load velocity and compression with isometrics you can control the load uh, because you control how hard your muscle is contracting if you're doing it manually or if you're on a machine like a leg extension machine you can control how much weight you're putting on there for best results you want to be at a 70 percent uh contraction level so that's why a leg extension machine is really good because let's say you reach failure at 100 pounds just put 70 pounds on there hold it for 45 seconds and it's going to feel good if you're not using weights let's say you're doing a manual version of an isometric like uh wall sit or reverse nordic uh kicking out against your your hand while grabbing your shin just be at a 70 percent effort level you know you're at that effort level if after the 45 seconds are done uh you feel like you would only be able to hold the contraction for like 15 more seconds for isometrics you want to do this three to five sets uh right before you work out the reason you do this is because it's gonna make your tendon less sensitive so you're gonna not feel as much pain when you're doing your your workout so really good to do as a warm-up on days that where you're not heavy lifting or jumping you want to do this three times per day for three to five sets and that's a total of nine to 15 sets every single day uh spread the the groups of sets about six hours apart throughout the day you want to imagine that these are like ibuprofen ibuprofen it helps get rid of pain use isometrics as ibuprofen for your knee this is the first step to knee pain to curing knee pain that you're going to take this is probably the most important thing to do guys uh this is going to decrease that uh initial level of pain your your tendon is not going to be as provocative as it was before and it's going to allow you to get into the later progressions of lifting and plyometrics uh later down the line uh, so yeah don't skip your isos after my isos and this workout i went ahead and did a jump dynamic flexibility this is just to get my core body temperature up decreases risk of injury allows me to get a little bit more warmed up for my workout uh, which you're about to see here i'm gonna do depth landings depth landings is probably the most underrated exercise when it comes to getting rid of knee pain all these other jump programs that say they get rid of rid of your knee pain don't have a proper depth landing progression and that is the number one thing guys are missing in their in their progression usually you guys will do isometric slow strength and then they'll go straight into playing basketball or trying to have dunk sessions and their tendon will flare up again and they'll be right back to square zero the reason they did they didn't progress is because they didn't have a proper plyometric progression um it's super simple right depth landings they're also called drops just get a box uh that's like six to 12 inches at first and then just drop from it absorb the landing um you want to be at a three or less knee pain if you feel more than a three pain if you're at a four or above that means you are not ready for the height of the box that you are using if you feel a four or higher on a 12 inch box that means you should not be doing depth landings whatsoever you are not ready for them instead you should go back to doing isometrics and slow squats until you can go pretty heavy on the slow squats and then you'll be able to progress up to to these boxes now you might be thinking oh i'm i'm a pro dunker i jump super high why do i have knee pain 
The reason I have knee pain is because I am performing at a very elite level. There is this misconception um, that when you are doing high performance training, that it is possible it is possible to be completely healthy, but you can't control every single variable out there, especially as a pro dunker. When you're having to do events uh, every every single week, dunking multiple times a week. Jumping's not a natural thing for your body. It is a very high risk activity. Um, but what we can do is manage the pain as best as we can when it does arrive. I expect pain to arrive because if not, you're not going to be mentally ready to go through that process of, of going through rehab and stuff like that. Um, a really big mistake guys make though is when they have those minor flare ups, they keep trying to do regular jump training through that flare up and that ends up just making your knee even worse. If you ever have a flare up, just stop doing whatever it is that is hurting. So for me, I was doing a lot of one foot jumping, a lot of events. I, I took a short break from my dunk sessions, regressed my training back to something that I can handle by being at a three or less in knee pain, which for this workout was doing drops and stay at that level until your knee pain subsides and then just progress up. And eventually you'll be able to get back to the level that you're at. Now, here is the second piece to getting rid of knee pain slow squats aka the bane of my existence i absolutely hate slow squats they are very difficult but really really good for your knees um if you are doing a load management cycle setup load management being you're managing the amount of load that your tendon is, is uh having imposed on it uh i like to do two uh days a week of plyos two days a week of slow squats i do them on back-to-back -back days and just go four by six super slow eventually you want to build up to 70 percent of your max going slow if you cannot do this uh without being at a three or less knee pain uh just lighten up the weight and progress up until you are strong enough to be able to do that once you have reached that level of strength you can start doing higher intensity squats by changing the velocity remember there's a few different ways to change the stress on a tendon one of them is controlling the velocity of your movements as you can see here i am doing squats with pretty high intent and high velocity because my tendon is personally ready for it i feel less than a three pain when doing squats like this another thing that you can change on your squats is the depth that you're doing them at if you have tendon pain you can uh when going deep just go quarter squats super slow and you guys are going to be feeling great uh, but that's it for the video guys i hope that you learned ask questions in the comments i'm going to be answering as many as i can and go to thpstrength.com if you want us to coach you personally through this process this is a very complex process and that can be messed up very easily. So go to thpstrength.com, sign up for training, and I'll personally coach you on how to get rid of knee pain and jump higher. Like the video, guys, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.